It seems like every time that Minecraft the movie gets mentioned, its release date gets pushed back more and more. As far as problems are concerned, Minecraft the movie has had quite a few of them. Going as far back as being started in 2014 and switching the hands of directors, writers, producers, and more, it seems like this movie can't get a fair shake. Maybe it's because of the medium. Maybe it's because nobody has an eye for the project, or maybe because the movie overall is too ambitious. Either way, this movie has had its ups and downs, from rumors of The Office and Despicable Me's Steve Carroll playing a massive role, to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia's Rob McElhinney directing the project, and even more than that, it just seems that, with this project, things are always too good to be true. Recently, Variety had the scoop on some very interesting details that, if we're lucky, will bring the future of this movie to silver screens around the world at some point sooner rather than later. In this video, we're going to talk about that news, give our thoughts on it, and more. So without any further ado, lights, camera, and hopefully action. So, if you aren't aware of this movie's progress, here's a quick recap. In 2014, partnership with Warner Brothers began on Minecraft the movie. From there, Sean Levy was announced as the director for the film, but later left with his writers due to conflicts and scheduling. In July of 2015, it was announced that Rob McElhinney would be the director of this movie. In June of 2016, Mojang announced the movie's title and release date, slating the movie for May of 2019 with the title simply being Minecraft the Movie. In October of 2016, Jason Fuse was announced as the writer for the film. Two years later, in August of 2018, it was announced that Rob McElhinney and Jason Fuse dropped from the project and were replaced with the directing duo, the Knee Brothers. And from there, nothing. Before Rob McElhinney left the project, as I previously stated, the movie was scheduled to come out in May of 2019, which at this point is extremely obvious that that will probably not be the case, as the film has continuously been pushed back and has gone through multiple hoops to maintain its creative partners. Clearly, Minecraft the movie has some serious issues. But if that's all there was to the story up to this point, then we wouldn't be talking about it in this video. Recently, over the past couple of weeks, more information regarding the movie has come to the attention of the public. Jim Burney, a visual effects supervisor responsible for films such as The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, The Witch of the Wardrobe, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers, The Polar Express, and more recently, Aquaman is going to be responsible in that role for this movie as well. With those credits and also his nominations for his films at the Academy Awards, it seems that Bernie is certainly up to the task and is more than capable. It should also be noted that Aquaman, which is a DC property released by Warner Brothers, should mean that his existing relationship with the company should hopefully allow him to transition smoothly into working with Warner Brothers on another project. Additionally to finding their visual effects supervisor, Warner Brothers also found their new director in Peter Select. According to Variety, Peter is also being tasked with writing the movie, and if that sounds confusing or conflicting to what I said earlier, that's because it is. To my knowledge, the Knee Brothers haven't made it public that they've stepped away from the project. As of writing this script, some sources like Polygon state that the movie's plot, which we'll get to in a second, was written by the Knee Brothers, while websites like Variety, with supposed exclusive coverage, only mention Peter Solette. Currently, it's all kind of confusing. Seeing how Minecraft the movie's metaphorical torch just continues to be passed around from person to person and team to team, it's honestly really hard to keep up with what is current. We're to the point where any news at all almost sends us on a wild goose chase. That's not to say that we're not excited for any new developments, it's just that a lack of clarity in a project like this seems strange, and at this point, the whole thing is starting to feel like the boy who cried wolf. Hopefully, it's all actually uphill from here, but let's get on to the supposed plot. 
As released by Variety, Minecraft the movie's current plot is interesting. In a direct quote, Variety states, the story follows a teenage girl and her unlikely group of adventurers who, after the malevolent Ender Dragon sets out on a path of destruction, must save their beautiful, blocky overworld. The wording seems very specific, which is good for suggesting that this movie might actually be happening. Teenage girl, group of adventurers, Ender Dragon, blocky overworld. At first glance, it seems like this movie may be taking the animated approach. Words like blocky overworld should imply that the world we'll be seeing on the big screen is one that we're all used to seeing on our monitors and other devices. While of course, there's potential that it could still be live action, which was Rob McElhaney's plan, I have a feeling that we might be seeing a new development emerging. Or maybe the movie could be a mix of both. Warner Brothers have recently dabbled with live action meets animation with the release of the Lego movie, and most recently, Detective Pikachu, which is set to be released fairly soon, ironically in May of 2019. It seems apparent that, when they think they have it, they certainly go the extra mile to solidify their idea of bridging the gap between the animated world and ours. If they decide to go the pure live action route, it's not a bad idea, but will ultimately be met with criticism, as will the entire movie, no matter what. In its current state, it just seems that everything regarding this movie is completely up in the air. Hopefully with how long that we're actually waiting, whatever they choose to do will be worth the wait. It's sort of like what Miyamoto said, it's better to work for a long time on a game and then release it in a completed state than to release something that's incomplete because gamers will remember that forever. And here's where I give my thoughts and criticism on the movie thus far. If I have to be honest, I think that the movie should be animated. It's not that live action meets animation is bad, I just think the film might be jarring if it's not done correctly. The reason that Detective Pikachu, in so many areas of its trailer, looks decent is because of the tone of the color that they use. As it's a detective movie, the coloring is darker. When a movie is darker, you can hide inconsistencies and details that might go missed in animation. If if the movie is darker, your errors can more easily be hidden. Minecraft isn't dark though. Minecraft, at least in the form that we know it, is fairly vibrant, and it's also kind of beautiful. Plopping real life down into the Minecraft world would be kind of hard to take in. If anything, you would have to plop Minecraft down into our world for it to look even remotely understood. Slamacow's old Minecraft leaking into the real world animation is a very good example of this. But that's to say, if the movie ever even comes out at this point. The responsibility for the movie just keeps getting pushed onto the next writer, producer, or director. Obviously, I don't intend to sound like a pessimist, but when a movie has this many problems, cancellation usually isn't too far behind. In film, history repeats itself more than we would like to admit. It's just the reality of the movie business. Nothing kills a movie faster than passing around the duty of making a movie from one person to another. If nobody wants to, or obviously can't do it, it just seems silly to keep pushing it further and further back. Hopefully, Peter Solette, Vertigo's Roy Lee and John Berg, John Spites, and the late Jill Mezik's project will finally see fruition in the coming months or even years if that's what it takes for this project to be good. If the Knee Brothers are still on board, hopefully the story is written and they can begin production as soon as possible. If you've made it this far into the video, you, like me, probably love Minecraft. You probably want this movie to succeed. Hopefully, instead of falling into the same pits that everyone else else apparently keeps falling into, these individuals can take this project to the next step and bring us closer to seeing the Minecraft movie while learning from the mistakes that many other people before them have made. Seeing a plot put together is a genuinely great development even if I don't think the plot sounds all that exciting. As far as I can recall though, I don't think we've even had a plot to talk about as of yet, so hopefully everything continues to come together from here on out. But what do you think? Do you think we're any closer to seeing the Minecraft movie? Do you think it's going to be cancelled? What form would you want to see it in? Animated, live action, or maybe a mix of the two? Let me know in the comments section down below. But other than that, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself and Michael McChill, who co-wrote and edited this video, the channel, and the video quite a lot. 
But anyways, guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.